Uh, in this lecture, we are going to discuss the 2D dynamic programming problems. The 2D dynamic programming problems means uh, we will be taking a 2D memorization table for solving the problems. Earlier, we have taken the examples of the 1D dynam dynamic programming problems where we were involving only a single dimension array for storing the uh, previous results. It means we, for doing the memorization, we were using only a single dimension uh, table or single dimension array. Now in this, in this lecture, we will be taking some of the examples which will be making use of the 2D arrays. For example, the 0, 1 knapsack problem. So what the 0, 1 knapsack problem is, there is a thief which has gone inside a house for, the, for uh, picking up some of the items. He wants, to be, he wants that uh, the costly items to be theft from the given house. So for this, he has taken a bag and the bag has the limited capacity. It means uh, it can, for example, it can keep only 7 kg of the items. It cannot take take beyond that. Okay. So what the thief would like to add the items in the bag, which will give him the larger profit. For example, if he takes the jewelry in his bag, it will give him large profit. It, it, it will give him huge profit. So he will try to find out the items which are of higher values and he will pick that in his bag such that when he comes out of the house he earns the maximum profit. So this is the 0 1 knapsack problem and here 0 1 means that either he will pick the item or he will not pick the item. Picking up the fractional item is not, not, not possible. For example, if he finds that there are 4, uh, four, four uh, items that remain Yes, sorry, uh, if, if he finds out that, uh, that there, is an, there is an item of uh, 6 kg and uh, he wants uh, to pick that in the bag but the bag is remaining with only 4, four kg of the capacity. So he will either keep that item or will not keep that item since that, since that, is, that item has a 6 kg weight so he cannot pick it that. Okay? So he will leave that item and he will pick the another item which can be uh, accommodated in, in his bag. So he cannot pick the fractional items. So either he will pick uh, the item or he will leave that item. So this is the 0 1 knapsack problem. So to solve this problem uh, using the dynamic programming, we need to have a 2D array. And uh, in this 2D array, we will be storing the items. Now, suppose this is the problem given. The knapsack capacity or the bag capacity is 7. The items are 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. First item has a weight 1 and profit 1. Second item has a weight 3 and profit 4. Third item has a weight 4 and profit 5. And four it fourth item has a weight 5 and profit 7. So for solving any of the uh, dynamic programming problem, we need to set the initial value. We need to set the initial value in the table. Suppose this is the table and in this table, this is the memorization table and this is the 0th row and this is the 0th column. On the row side, we will be picking up the item. On the column side, the back capacity is given. For example, we are adding the back capacity is 1, back capacity is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and finally we have to take a back capacity. 7 which is given in the problem okay and then on the row side we are taking up the items so we have four item so the number of rows will be 4 plus 1 5 similarly the number of columns will be 7 plus 1 8 so this is 1 2 3 and fourth row and this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 the column so on the row side, we'll be picking up the item and the column side, let's say these are the back capacity. Okay, so back capacity is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the values that we'll be writing inside the cell, that will be the profit. Okay, so if you consider that you do not have any item, so if you do not have any item, be it any capacity of the bag you will be earning zero profit. Okay. Now, if the back capacity is zero, then even if you have one item, 
first item you will earn zero profit since the back capacity is zero even if you have one and two both you will earn zero profit if you have one two three all even the, in that case you will earn zero profit here also it will be zero so we have set the initial values as this all these initial values are required because uh, for computation purpose we will be using all these initial values now suppose you have only item number one you don't have these items you only have item number one and if the back capacity is one obviously you will be adding only this this item in the bag okay none else so whatever is the profit of this will be earned so first item has profit one and it, it has weight also one so one weight item can be accommodated in one weight bag and the profit that will be earned is one so since you can pick either zero or one so you have picked one item and the back capacity uh, it is well within the back capacity and you will earn one profit if you have picked first item and the back capacity is two even in that case also you can accommodate one one unit of this item so the profit will be one similarly for all these whatever be the back capacity even if the back capacity is seven you can pick only one unit of this item and the profit that will be on this one now suppose you have first item also and second item also you have this one and this one both so since you have this one and this one both if the back capacity is one the second item has a weight three second item cannot be accommodated in the capacity one back so this value will be copied here because we can keep this first item but we cannot keep the second item if the back capacity is one if the back capacity is two this also cannot be accommodated in the in this this second item cannot be accommodated in the back because these this has a weight three so in that case only we can only keep the first item and this value is copied here meaning that we have only kept the first item now if the back capacity is three this second item can be accommodated because it has a weight three and this item can be accommodated now if i accommodate this item and not the first item then the profit will be four if i add this this item second item which has a weight three entire capacity of the bag will be exhausted and you will be earning only four profit because this item has been accommodated and this item has been has not been accommodated first item has not been accommodated and the second item has been accommodated so now it is it is the thing that we need to find out that how did we find this so we have this uh, table let's say this table is t table and in this t table we have to find this entry this entry is tij entry for example okay so uh, we have found that this item this uh, this this let's say i is moving here okay and then j is moving here and this is the weight array and this is the profit array and we have found that this j is j means this one this is the knapsack capacity this j value is less than or equal to this weight of item number i okay here it it, it has was proven that 3 is less than or equal to the weight of the second item so that is weight of the second item is 3 so this is equal to this one so even if it is equal or less it will it is fine okay now if this is so we have to find out this entry for finding out this entry the since this item is going to the ith item is going to be added so the profit let's say p is the p is telling you the profit or let's say we are writing profit itself so profit of this item plus the table which is telling you the profit you go to i minus first row and then 
go to the column number this j minus the weight of i so this j minus the weight of i why we are doing the weight of i where we are doing the weight of minus, uh, minus weight of i because this item has been included so the knapsack capacity has been reduced so knapsack cap capacity which was earlier of size 3 by including this item it has been reduced to zero okay so for this particular example what has happened you have taken the second item so profit of 2 has been included i is 2 here and then you are referring to this table in the first row i minus 1 means 2 minus 1 first first row and then j value is 3 minus the weight of the second item is 3 so you are referring to t10 so this t10 this is 1 and this is 0 column so t10 is telling you 0 so profit of this item is 4 plus 0 okay this profit of this item is 4 plus 0 will be replaced by this value okay so we have found this value similarly for finding out this particular cell entry okay for finding out this uh, uh, particular cell entry what we will do you will find out the profit of 2 plus t1 and this j is this here it is j so 4 minus 3 so 4 minus 3 means 1 value so profit of 2 plus t11 t11 value is 1 so this value will be 5 so what has actually happened that if the knapsack capacity is 4 you can accommodate a 3 uh, 3 weight item and you can accommodate a 1 1 weight item as well so that's why this value is going to be 5 similarly if you have to find this entry so what will that entry be so profit of 2 plus t1 in place of 4 write 5 so t1 2 so t12 is also 1 so this will be 5 only okay so 4 plus 1 5 similarly this value will also be 5 this value will also be 5 okay now you let's say you're going to find out this entry for this row particular row up to this we have considered that we have only these two items now we are considering that we have third item also so if you have third item also which has a weight five weight four no changes will be made till column number three changes can be made from column number four onwards but no changes will be made till the column number three okay so if column number three up to column number three you will be copying all these values so one one and four so this will be greater than or equal to now since this j is equal to the weight of this particular third item this item weight is four j is also four so this can be this cell value can be changed okay so how will we find out this value so profit of this item profit of third item plus profit of third item plus table entry you are referring to the third row so for finding out this value cell value you will go back to the second row so i minus 1 means 3 minus 1 means 2 and then j minus weight of i so j minus weight of i means j here is 4 and weight of this item is 4 so we are referring to t20 what is the value of t20 t20 is 0 so whatever is the profit of this the third item that is 5 plus t20 this is 0 so 5 so here we can write 5 okay whenever you are writing this 5 here you need to compare it with this value also if you are getting a better profit write it here if this profit was better than this one so this will be copied so it means that you are comparing these two values it means you are referring to i minus 1 j entry and then you are finding out this value profit of i plus 
टी आई माइनस वन जे माइनस फेट आई विच एवर ऑफ दीज टू वैल्यूज इज मैक्सिम दैट एक्चुअली विल बी दी वैल्यू ऑफ टी आई जे ओके नाउ लेट्स फाइंड आउट दिस वैल्यू यू जस्ट नीड वन यू नीड टू मेक ओनली वन चेंज इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस फाइव राइट इट फोर फोर राइट इट फाइव सो टी टू वन सो टी टू वन एंट्री इज वन सो फाइव प्लस वन दिस वैल्यू इज सिक्स फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट दिस एंट्री यू जस्ट नीड टू मेक दिस जे एस सिक्स सो यू फाइंडिंग टी टू टू तो टी टू टू एंट्री इज वन सो फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स दिस विल रिमेन सेम एंड देन For finding out this cell entry, that is J is seven, you need to change this six to seven. So seven minus four is three. So you are referring to the entry T two three. So profit of this item is five plus T two three. So T two three is four. Okay. So four plus this value five. Four plus five is nine. So nine has been written here. Okay. now after and completing the entry of uh, this entire row you are now going to refer to the fourth row so fourth row says that uh, you have you now have all the four items okay we have gone row wise first we have take we have considered that we have only one item then you consider that we have one and two both items then you consider that we have one two three all three items then you consider that you have one two three and four all the items so you have all the four items and the weight of the fourth item is 5 so it means that up to the fourth row there will be no change you just copy the value of the previous row but since the value of this value or the profit of this item is uh, sorry weight of this item is 5 and this j value is equal to this weight of i so this item can be included so to include this item you are saying that profit of 4 it means fourth item has a profit Plus t of i minus one, then j minus weight of this item. So i minus one means third row, and then j is five minus weight of this item is also five. So you are referring to t three zero entry. T three zero entry is zero. Okay, and the profit of this item is seven. So seven plus t three zero means seven plus zero. this profit has been made as 7 okay and then for finding out this cell the value of j is 6 you just need to make this change 6 minus 5 so t3 1 so t3 1 is 1 so this value will be 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 7 T three one. Okay, fine. Now, if you are going to refer to this entry, this will be seven minus five. So T three two. You are referring to T three two. Okay. T three two entry is one. T three two entry is one. And if you add profit of this item is 7 t3 to entry is 1 so 7 plus 1 that is 8 sorry here also it will be 8 because 7 plus 1 this will be 8 so t3 to entry is 1 this entry will be 8 because 7 plus 1 t3 to means this entry 7 plus 1 8 and you have to select the maximum of this value and 8 so maximum of this value is 9 so 9 is the entry so whatever is the entry in this cell means 4 7 cell that will be the answer of this 0 1 knapsack problem okay now after uh, we we have already seen many a things here in this how to how to construct this table now let us try to write the algorithm so for writing the algorithm we are saying that this is
knapsack 01 what is given we have been given the weight array we have been given a profit array we know that the number of items here are n and the capacity of knapsack is given to solve this problem we need to take the table so let's say t is the table and the t table will have a size you've already seen that uh, the size of the table will be number of item is taken on the row side and on the column side the back capacity is taken but we are taking an additional row also and additional column also so one more row and one more column so on the row side we are taking the number of items so n plus 1 on the row side and on the column side we are taking a capacity so capacity plus 1 so this is the array we are taking and we are initializing every entry of this array as 0 okay we just need to initialize the value of first row and the first column as the 0 but uh, if you make all the entries of the uh, array as 0 that will make no difference okay so we are initializing all the entries of the array as 0 after doing so you are iterating row wise you are selecting one item and then you will be doing for all the capacity so since we are referring to a matrix entry so a 2d array uh, sorry uh, a two loops will be taking taken which will be nested loop so for i equals to 1 2 and do and similarly for iterating the column we will taking will be taking j so for j equals to 1 2 and do for i equals to 1 j will iterate from 1 to n for i equals to 2 j will iterate from 1 to n and so on so forth so what we are going to do we are going to uh, update the cell value so if j is less than weight of the selected item if j is less than the weight of the selected item so what we'll be doing uh, we will be copying the value of the upper cell it means if you are finding the entry ij so i minus 1 j entry will be copied here but the moment you find that j is either greater than or equal to weight of i in that case we will be applying the formula so what will that formula be tij will be equals to maximum of either the ti minus 1 j entry is larger or you have a profit associated with the ith item plus t i minus 1 and j minus weight i okay so find out t i minus 1 minus j minus weight i sorry t i j t i minus 1 on the column side you are taking j minus weight i so whatever is the maximum of these two that will be taken as an updated value fine once this loop finishes once both the loops will finish we will have the maximum profit and the maximum profit will be in the rightmost corner of the table or the memorization table so what will that be in the nth row and in the capacity column we have the answer so you can return t and capacity it means this is the entry that is containing the largest value in the array so the largest value means the largest profit that we have found so this is the zero one knapsack problem thank you